Hey everyone, this is Harjit here. I hope you're enjoying different videos on my channel. Guys, as part of this video, I'm going to cover, you know, how to select a language if you're trying to learn Spark. This is a very important question that uh, beginners in big data world or Spark world ask me. So as part of this video, I'll try to answer uh, your question. So, you know, let us start. Okay. So, you know, there can be many perspectives uh, from uh, which can help you make the decision to choose between Scala and Python. Uh, we'll cover all those perspectives and, you know, then you can decide at the end of the video that uh, which is the right parameter for you, which is the most important parameter for you uh, and choose a language accordingly. So, uh, you know, if you if the performance is uh, the most important factor for you, then, you know, I would say Scala wins very clearly on top of Python. So, uh, it is in your uh, project development, uh, it is very high likely that you will use, end up using UDFs and you will end up developing your own UDFs if your business logic is very complex. Uh, in those situations, Scala UDFs has huge performance benefit as compared to Python uh, UDFs. Uh, with incoming of uh, vectorized UDF and new features uh, like encoders, which try to abstract everything uh, and try to minimize the performance gap uh, between Scala and Python, uh, Spark has tried to improve Python's, impro uh, Python's performance, but still Scala is far better than Python when it comes to performance. So if performance is a very important aspect for you, then you should give importance to Scala. So uh, one very important aspect is uh, acceptance in the enterprise environment. So uh, usually currently, if you see different companies, currently uh, most of organizations are uh, uh, Java shops. They are, uh, you know, uh, they, they have a huge Java setup. Uh, they have proper uh, testing environment for Java tool setup and they have proper uh, DevOps uh, DevOps and uh, you know uh, build environments uh, for Java. Uh, they are not too much used to of uh, developing applications in Python. So you will see Python being used a lot. Uh, but uh, if I compare Java and Python, Java I see in more number of organizations than in Python. Uh, you know, so considering that Scala is more closer to uh, uh, Java world. So, you know, people tend to use Scala because all the supporting environments like test environment, uh, you know, testing tools and guidelines, build tools are already there. Scala being a JVM language that helps Scala. Uh, for Python, there is uh, uh, not much acceptance around that, uh, you know, uh, currently because a lot of uh, companies have a lot of unknowns that how to productionize and how to have all that sort of uh, set of enterprise grade uh, tools around your Python big data projects. So uh, here I would say Scala again wins over Python. Now uh, learning curve. This is a very important factor. You know, uh, it is very difficult to hire big data, uh, you know, folks in market currently. So Python uh, has a lower learning curve than Scala. Here Python is winning in this particular point. Scala has a bit different kind of uh, uh, syntax. Uh, if you are from Java background, then you know you will find it a bit difficult to get used to of Scala terminology and syntax. And Python is uh, syntax is very natural. You know, it's it, even though you know you, you just see it and you will know that what your program is trying to do. So it is very easy to learn and uh, you know very natural. But Scala syntax is a bit uh, difficult to comprehend if uh, you know uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, operations are combined into a single statement. So here Python kind of wins, it has a lower learning curve. Next is availability of machine learning libraries. Here again, Python wins. So Python has a huge and very, uh, you know, matured uh, ecosystem of machine learning libraries like scikit-learn, TensorFlow, Keras, uh, you know, uh, uh, all this uh, uh, SciPy, NumPy, Pandas, so if you want to do anything in Python, it's very easy. If you want to do exploratory data analysis in Python, it's very easy. 
Scala is uh, very good as a language, but uh, if I ask about those support machine learning libraries that support for uh, data science uh, projects, those libraries are not there. So uh, those libraries are there, but they are not as famous as the libraries in Python world. So Python wins here uh, because the ecosystem is more mature for machine learning kind of projects. Type safety. Uh, so in Sp uh, Spark 2.x, uh, data sets are being promoted heavily. Everything is moving to data sets. And there are huge performance benefits and other kind of benefits of using data sets. Uh, I have a different video on to this topic if you want to see that. Uh, so uh, data sets are type safe. Python as a language is not type safe. So uh, if you're using Python, you are you are not using uh, you know a lot of features of uh, Spark which are available in Spark 2.x. So you have to consider that while choosing uh, Python as a language. So yeah, that's very important aspect, guys. So next is uh, visualization libraries. So in Python, you will see ggplot and cborn. Um, you know, uh, sorry, matplotlib and cborn. Uh, as a, uh, available visualization library. Uh, it's very mature and very people are very used to of using it. In Scala, there is a, a lack of very mature, uh, you know, visualization libraries. There are libraries available. You can do visualization using Zeppelin, uh, uh, a, a Zeppelin uh, uh, IDE, but, uh, you know, a very mature uh, uh, visualization library like uh, Matplotlib and Seaborn is not available in Scala. So it kind of limits you from doing the in-depth, uh, uh, you know, uh, data analysis. So you have a developer in Scala will kind of struggle uh, to find out help and uh, uh, documentation uh, in, in for visualization. So Python is very mature in, in this regard and uh, you know, very well known uh, in this regard. One very important aspect is that uh, Python has a very good ID called Jupyter Notebooks for uh, uh, doing the machine learning kind of projects. And uh, uh, Scala has a, you can use Zeppelin in Scala, but uh, uh, you know, as a developer, I personally like the Jupyter Notebooks and I would say that it's far more mature than Scala's uh, 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 Zeppelin, uh, you know, if you're using. So uh, that's the difference for me. So uh, if I try to put it in simple words, if your project is majorly data engineering kind of project, and uh, uh, performance is very much key for you and uh, your organization is a java shop and uh, you know uh, they want more stability and performance use scala uh, if uh, you uh, your project is uh, data science uh, uh, kind of project machine learning kind of project where you have to do a lot of data analysis a lot of data visualizations and uh, you have to use uh, uh, jupyter notebook uh, then prefer python so it's a clear cut, plus, uh, clear cut, uh, you know, uh, segregation uh, for me. I hope this video was useful for you. Uh, if you have any other question, please post it in the comment section. I'll be very happy to answer. Please subscribe to my channel and share the videos uh, with your friends. Thank you.